Hello everyone, welcome to this exciting edition of I'm in a car talking to you while talking nonsense. Um, this video wasn't actually planned but um, I'm on the M23 and it's not moving because the road just closed up ahead. Um, so I thought I would um, just chat to you on the camera for a while because I've got nothing else to do, I've got my camera with me. I've uh, just um, been to Brighton to film the murmuration. Um, so I was hoping to head home and edit that and try and get that out tonight, but that's not going to happen now. Uh, I'm not even going to edit it tonight. Um, traffic is moving very slowly. See, before it was moving really slowly, it, was, it, well, it wasn't moving at all and I could turn the engine off. But now it's kind of moving at a pace where you have to keep the engine on to stop, start, stop, start. So annoying. Uh, although, if I'm a slight downhill gradient, I might just switch it off and just coast down. Okay, switch the engine off. I'm just... A lot of other people doing it as well. You can see them all around just switching their engines off. Um, so, channel update. Uh, how's my channel going? Um, well, I've had a, quite a few subscribers over February. Um, which was uh, nice. Um, I'm now rolling down. It's on a very slight downhill gradient, so I'm rolling. Um, I'm not sure how many more karate videos I'm going to do because my CFS is so bad at the moment that I haven't done karate in a while. And I'm wondering, can I even still justify having karate on my channel? Because it's called Super Tell, um, How To, Challenges, Vlogs, Karate. I can never remember what I've called it. Um, and I'm thinking, should I remove the karate from the title of my channel? Um, I don't really want to, but realistically it's not a karate channel anymore. Originally that's what it set out to be, but realistically it just isn't anymore. I, I never train anymore, I can't train, my health doesn't allow it. So, um, I don't know, um, I've got, I'm still reading Karate Book, which I was hoping to have reviewed ages ago, but I don't know, I keep procrastinating and doing other silly things. I said, oh, I was thinking about it last night, not last night, or the night before, I don't know, recently. It's like, shall I, uh, shall I remove the Karate from my channel, or shall I keep it going? I mean, I want to do karate. I mean, that's the whole reason I had karate on my channel in the first place. But, um... The situation's different now. Oh, so, yeah. Are we moving? Oh, it looks like... I might uh, be able to do a bit more rolling. Luckily we're still on a slight downhill gradient so I can just take the handbrake off and just coast down in neutral again. That's if we ever get moving. I don't know. I've had the engine off for a while now. Saving fuel. There's no point burning fuel if I'm not going anywhere. I spent a fortune in Brighton today. You'll see that on my Brighton video. And the car park was well expensive. And I'm rolling down this hill really slowly. Street lamps. Do you know this this whole road has got street lamps? Not one of them's on. So, yay! The thing is, oh, I might have to turn the engine on for the next move because it's like there's a slight uphill. That's all right. We're not going anywhere just yet. Um, so, how am I? Well, over the last weekend, I was really ill. I'm not going to go into details on that. Um, Valentine's Day, did sod all. Um, so, yay! Um, I've got a bit of work coming up. My agency's given me some work. So, yay! Oh, this battery's running low. I've got two other batteries, so if I'm still rambling when the battery dies, 
You still get to hear me talk. Woo, lucky you. Um, man, this is going to take forever to get home. It's just traffic is stationary. Oh, I mean, that lane's moving. Is this lane moving? Is it worth turning my engine on just for two feet? I'm not going to turn it on for that. Oh, oh, I am going to turn it on. Because the vehicles up ahead in this lane are moving. So I'm, I'm going uphill now, so I can't coast down it anymore. Okay, well, I thought we were going to move. We're not moving. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I've been alright. I mean, I mean um, if you watch my channel, you know where my friend Laura died a while ago. I, I missed her quite badly. Um, I think about her every night. Someone stopped there. I wonder if they overheated. They might have overheated. It's possible that they overheated. So there's some blue lights here, but I don't think they're to do with the fact that the road's closed. They seem to be something else. I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, so, um, Miss Her, I haven't done much writing lately. I know, I know I've made like 20 million videos where I say I'm going to get on with my writing and then I never do. And every time I say it, I mean it. I genuinely mean it. Every time I say it, I'm going to get on with writing. And the whole reason I actually put it on my videos is because I think, well, if I've told you I'm going to do it, then I'm going to have to do it. It's not like just me talking to myself, I'm telling the whole world I'm going to do it. Then I still don't do it. Um, oh, should I turn the engine off? Yeah, we ain't going anywhere. Um... I don't like all this stop, start, stop, start stuff. I don't think my engine really likes it very much, but what can you do? Um. Do, 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 do. I came down to Brighton through the country roads, and it took a, quite a while because people kept going really slowly and they kept stopping for no reason. So I thought, ah, oh, I'll go back on the uh, motorway. It's only an hour drive. Yay! Oh, oh. But the good thing about this, you see, because um, we're not moving, my engine's off, look, key's not even in the ignition. I can use my phone. Engine's off, key's not in the ignition. I can use my phone. You can't say, oh, you're using your phone while driving. Technically, I'm not driving. See? I might just go to sleep here. I've got blankets in the car, I've got a pillow. I'll just pull over onto the hard shoulder and just sleep here tonight. Here's my pillow. Ugh. Ugh. So this isn't very interesting, so this is going to be fun for me. I mean, for you, it won't be too bad because I'm going to cut out all the bits where nothing happens. So it will just jump straight to me talking again, but I've literally just sat here for ages not saying anything or doing anything. So, um, so yay. Uh, what else is going on in my life? Oh, not a lot. Um, oh, better put the key back in the ignition. We are going to go forward about... A short distance. Yay, short distance. So I don't really know what that police car there is doing. It's saying keep right. Um, I turned my interior light off so you could see the blue lights flashing on, on my face. Can you see that? Yay! Blue lights flashing on my face. 
turn the engine off again. So, so my engine has been more off than on. Oh, the battery's about to die on my camera. But I've got two fully charged batteries in my bag. So I can keep talking nonsense because to be honest, when, it's, when I'm in a situation like this, I generally just talk to myself anyway. So if I wasn't talking to the camera, I'd just be talking to myself like a crazy person. So at least if... Yay, new battery! I haven't moved. I, they, they haven't even turned the car on. The car's been off the whole time. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Are we moving? Are we moving? Oh, hang on. We are moving. Oh, at least 10 metres, maybe even 15 metres. Crazy. Well, that copper looks bored as hell. <laughs> he's just sitting in the car, he's not doing anything, he's just sitting there with his lights flashing with a keep right sign on the back of the car. Um, I don't think he actually really cares what people are doing, if they're using their phones or not. The thing is, it's not just the traffic going this way, the car's going the other way, well the slip road off, that's, that's not moving either. Um, and so. I could turn my radio on and listen to that. But my radio doesn't work if I've got my sat nav on, but I'm not moving. Yeah, I've got to think of something interesting. Sorry, I'm, it's just this is this video isn't actually planned. The only, as I said, the only reason I'm making it is because I, I'm just sitting here in stationary traffic. Um, not moving. Um, look, you look at the slip road for the other side. That's not moving. The M23 going the other way is moving, but the um, the slip road off isn't moving. And when I pass the uh, there's a roundabout back there, um, that wasn't moving. None of the traffic in any direction was moving. So. Um, Yeah! Okay, here we go, here we go. How far are we going to get this time? Wow. That's, I don't know, maybe 50 metres? It's not bad. Oh, oh, bit more. I'm so hungry. When I was driving back, I was debating whether to stop and get um, some food or just get all the way home. And I was thinking, Do you know what? It's only an hour drive home. I'll, um, I'll just get home and, and get something when I get home. Although my original estimated time of arrival to get home would be at 7.15 and it's now 5 past 7 so 10 minutes from now I should be at home yay and, I'm, and now now it's, it's uh, 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 hour and a half from where I am uh, I'm not gonna get home tonight uh, oh the good thing is though um, the road is starting to go down again which means I can keep the engine off and just coast down in neutral I'm not quite on the slope yet almost there let's see maybe I can coast from here I don't know yes there's not a lot happening in my life uh, the move okay so uh, previous videos you may have seen me talk about moving uh, the, those people that were going to buy a house had no money, they said they had a mortgage and they basically don't. They lied basically and they just kept saying, no we've got a mortgage, we've got a mortgage and they didn't. So um, that's all collapsed completely, house is back on the market, the house we want is now back on the market but they've been cheeky and put the price up um, from what they were originally selling it to us at. Um, We've had two people make offers on our house already since it's been back on the market, but they're lower than what we're asking for, quite a bit lower. Um, 
and we've already reduced the price of our house by quite a bit um, to try and get the sale and um, so we're not going any further we've, we've drawn a line so you know we've, we've gone down as far as we're willing to go that is it okay, I'm going to have to move forwards just a little bit this bit's a little bit flat I was hoping I was on the area where I could just freewheel down not turn the engine on um, what was it? Well, those two lanes have started moving. Why have those lanes started moving? Sometimes motorway jams do that. A lane will start moving for no obvious reason. And you think, well, why is that moving and this one isn't? That's why people keep swapping lanes. You think, oh, that lane's moving. Well, they all go into that lane. Of course, that lane then stops. The reason I swap lanes is because I want to try and get off this motorway. Oh my god, that was half a mile ago. That was so long ago. Ah. Uh. There's quite a cute girl in the red car opposite me. Or next to me. She's been next to me um, on and off. See, I pulled in front of her, but every so often she lines up with me, so I'm in front and then that, that lane will move. Just thought I'd mention it. Not gonna film her, that'd be creepy. I'm not that bad. Just thought I'd point it out. Things you notice when you're not moving. If we'd been driving I would never have spotted her. I might edit this bit out. Da -da -da. I'm going to turn the camera off now because I've run out of things to say. If I think of anything, I'll turn the camera back on. I'll turn my radio on. I was getting bored. The whole freewheeling thing is fine for a while, but then after a while you need the engine to run to keep the brake fluids going round. Otherwise the brakes are like, ah, brakes don't work! <laughs> um, yeah, so... So now I'm coasting with the engine on. Oh, I don't want to... I've used quite a bit of fuel anyway, and I've had the engine off for ages. I think it's just because I keep stop starting it. So I don't... Oh, God, I'm tired. Oh, I was hoping to be in bed by now. Oh, instead I'm still here. Oh. I've had to turn my sat-nav. I can't have my sat-nav and my radio on at the same time. They don't work together. But I'm still like three and a half miles away from the junction. So I don't need it for a while. Coasting down with the engine on so the brakes work. Hmm. Oh, there's lorries. I think some of the vehicles are overheating. There's a car back there, and there's some lorries here. Maybe they just don't like moving slowly, or maybe they just fall. Do you know what? Sod this. And just parks up for the night. So that's not an official parking zone that Laurie's in. It's just on the hard shoulder. It's just well, do you know what? Cannot be bothered. I was thinking that earlier. I think it just can't be bothered. Just curl up, go to sleep. Problem is the services is back there. Um I'd probably be in exactly the same situation. The roads to the services weren't moving either. I bought some fish and chips earlier in Brighton. It started out, I started eating the thing, and actually, do you know, this is actually quite nice. And I got halfway through and I thought, I'm really not enjoying this. Should have given it to seagulls, I put it in the bin. Luckily I don't really have to be anywhere, I'm not in a rush to get anywhere. Yeah, I'd like to be at home, but I'm not starting work until 10 o'clock tomorrow, so I don't have to leave home until like 9.30. Um, Although I fear I'm still going to be here at 9.30 tomorrow morning. 
I normally have lots of like food and drink for scenarios like this. I normally keep like crisps and stuff, stuff that doesn't go off in the car, like if it gets like hot or cold. But I don't have anything. Um, I've got loads of old water bottles, but they're not. The water in them isn't brilliant. Um, my brain isn't functioning. Here we go. Um, I did have apples in this bag, but I think I took the apples out. Yeah, I did. But loads of Rene. So if I get um, acid reflux, I'm good. Um, yeah, I've just got like water, but the water quality, I mean, there's bits floating in there. Basically, just got loads of bottles of. nearly empty water bottles. Well, I went die of thirst, you know. That one looks, actually no, that one doesn't look right. <clears throat> that one's not too bad. Problem is, then you'll need to pee. The McDonald's cup, it's alright, I don't need to pee. A very good bladder control. I can hold it for hours. Probably too long actually. Oh wow, there's a sign up there. You know on the mo um I don't know about uh, I don't know what it's like in your country where you're watching this, but in Britain um they have um signs up which flash the speed limit, right? So to um control the traffic flow to make sure that you know people don't bunch up. Anyway, it's flashing 40. So not allowed to go over 40 miles an hour. As I turn my engine off yet again for the one millionth time. Uh, people are looking at their sign thinking, what? 40 mile an hour speed limit? We're not moving. Just not moving. I don't want to speak too loud because my window is open, his window is open. But there's a person in the car next to me who looks really fed up. He's talking on the phone. He's the passenger, so it's all cool. Um, he, he just looks like he's lost the will to live. I think he's just been communicating that to someone on the phone. He's like, I've lost the will to live. Problem is, right, this road here, if you're coming from the south of the country like I just am, because I'm coming from Brighton, if you're going to like Heathrow, Gatwick, airports, um, or even going from the south up to Luton or Stansted or anywhere, you're going to have to come on this road. Um, and you could leave home thinking that you know you've left plenty of time to get to the airport and you're watching the time tick by thinking shit you know it's getting later and later and later and later and later and so you just have to accept the inevitable you're gonna miss your flight and there's nothing you can do about it um, luckily I'm not in that situation as I said earlier I'm not actually in a rush to get anywhere I'm just uh, would just like to get at home but I don't have to you know I don't need to be anywhere Okay, so um, as I just said that the um, sign was saying don't go over 40 miles an hour, it's changed to 60, it's now flashing 60, so yeah, we can go 60 miles an hour. Yay! I bet everyone's so glad to see that. Oh look, we can go 60. Stupid. Really, when... Completely redonkulous. How exactly are we supposed to go 60 miles an hour? Not even moving. Oh, someone else pulled over. There's a lot of people pulled over. I think there's a lot of engines that have been overheating in all this. 
I've just, the, the, normally you only see this many people pulled over on the side of the road uh, when um, it's really really hot sunny day the engines overheat or a really cold winter's day and the um, engines overheat because the uh, coolant is all frozen because they don't have adequate antifreeze so it seems funny that the engines overheat on both really hot and cold days but yeah there's been a lot of people pulled over of course that's just a nightmare if you like work for like breakdown services trying to get to these people or maybe they can just let their car cool down who knows I mean, my whole engine was rebuilt last year and all the um, the cooling system was redone everything to do with managing the temperature thermostat the um, heat matrix everything to do with engine temperature has been completely rebuilt less than a year ago um, probably about six months ago so I'm, I'm okay I'm quite confident the engines not going to overheat but um, the reason it was that happened is because obviously um, I mentioned I can't remember the video I mentioned it I mentioned it in one of the videos um, my head gasket went last year I did actually film me broken down and the RAC man coming out to fix the car and then I showed all the engine getting rebuilt but um, I don't think I ever posted it I've lost the footage of um, me breaking down and I don't know what happened to the footage of the engine being rebuilt I never posted it if I can find the photos I'll post them here but I don't think I've got them anymore oh so oh yeah, 60 miles an hour though. What a joke. Uh, I don't know if you can probably you can probably hear the radio. I don't know if you can hear the radio. Uh, engine off again. Engine off again. Are we moving? Oh no, not engine off again. We're moving. We're just about to turn the engine off and we're moving. Keep the engine on. And now I'm switching the engine off. Uh, this is the sign I was telling you about. Where is it? 60, yeah, we can go 60 miles an hour. Woo, 60 miles an hour. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off again because um, I'm boring myself. Um, if you like this video, I don't tend to do in-car chat videos as much as I used to. I've got quite a bu bunch of older ones on here. So if you want, check out the older ones. Um, I don't know if I've got a playlist of chatting in the car videos. I might make a playlist. Um, I stopped making them because they were boring me. I was editing the videos and I was like, these are boring as hell. So I stopped making them. But as I said, I've, I've got nothing else to do. So um, yeah, S like, subscribe. If you want to see more in-car videos, let me know and I'll make some more. If not, then um, we probably won't get another one until I'm stuck in another traffic jam, to be honest. Alright, and I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, I know I ended this video, like, ages ago, but... Well, ages ago for me, like, mere seconds ago for you, but I just wanted to show you something. We're not moving. Oh, it's been so long. It must have been like at least an hour ago since I ended this video. Well, and um, no, I'm, I'm still here. Bye.